All homicides are tragic, make no mistake about that. But when you have to report the tragic death of three young people, two ages three and one age four, within a 72-hour period of time, that's pretty tough. It's pretty tough for the community. It's really tough on officers investigating this, as well as for the families. And so this is, a, this is a really a, a tragic, tragic moment. The Madison Police Department is investigating an apparent double homicide. Dead are two Madison brothers, ages three and four. Autopsies on the boys are being conducted at this hour. In custody on a parole violation is David J. Holm, age 28, of Madison. Mr. Holm is the boyfriend of a victim's mother, and he is a primary suspect in this case. This is a case that began with domestic violence between the suspect and the boy's mother. It ended with the victims who were found inside of a parked car early this morning. And the suspect turned himself in to police. As the children were not with the boyfriend when we took him into custody, MPD officers now continued to search for a great Volvo vehicle. It was believed the boyfriend had been driving earlier in the day with the children. At 2.39 a.m., a Madison police officer checking business properties in the 3300 block of Kinsman Boulevard located this gray Volvo vehicle. Upon examining the interior of the vehicle, the officer observed what appeared to be a body of a child in the rear seat. Upon forcing entry into the vehicle, the officer discovered the bodies of the three and four-year-old brothers. Both children were deceased. This really does reinforce um, the need for us to continue to focus on and work on and deal with the issues of domestic violence and child abuse in, in this community. A lot of those types of cases go unreported publicly for a variety of reasons, but it doesn't mean at all that we don't need to be vigilant about it, dedicate more resources about it, and take it as a serious issue. It goes unreported uh, in many instances because you can't report the names, but I, I would hate for this time to go. We've lost three young people, you know, two ages three, one age four, and in the last 72 hours. And I think it's really important that that message gets out as well, that it's important that we do more in that regard.